Great outdoors. Fall in the Smokies is a great time to head south. And Gatlinburg, of course, is the hub of all the things to get you in the spirit of fall. Joining us with some of the fun you can find is Marcy Claude from the Gatlinburg Convention and Visitors Bureau. Great to see you, Marcy. Good morning. You brought your friend because she represents something you can do down oh, there, right? Oh, my goodness, yes. Well, you know, fall in the Smokies is just fantastic. It's gorgeous with all the leaves and the great Smoky Mountains surrounding the town. And we just deck it out. We okay. decorate. Lots with of decorations. Decor corn shucks, the whole nine yards, and of course scarecrows. This year we have a scarecrow trail that goes all the way through town, out through our arts and crafts community, and we're very excited about How it. How cool. Uh, there, are a lot, there are lots of fall events that are happening around Gatlinburg this time of year too, right? Well, you know, we have so many visitors and we just want to enhance your experience. So we have Smoky Mountain Tunes and Tales on the weekends where you can listen to strolling musicians and storytellers, do it the Appalachian stories That's and songs. Neat. If you're if you're into Halloween, then there's uh, Ripley's Fright Nights and, and a, <laughs> oh yeah, it's scary. I I don't do scary, but Anna Kista, <laughs> Hallow, the legend of Hallow Mountain is new this year and oh, they will scare that? you. It's like a walk through, it's a beautiful outdoor park mm -hmm. and then they have a vista garden at the top of a mountain and they made it like a little haunted house at night. And I oh. say little, but it's really big. Yeah. And they say it's scary, but I won't do it. Now, is the Ripley stuff, is that at the Ripley Museums that that takes place or is that outside of the museums too? Ripley's Fright Nights, mm -hmm. that is over at their haunted mansion. Oh, okay. Yes, so we have a couple of different haunted houses in Gatlinburg year-round anyway, so they really <laughs> amp it up for Halloween. Now, for kids who might be a little bit smaller and don't want to get scared, what, what is there to do for those families? So, we do have our Ripley's Aquarium, and Anakista by day is beautiful. Yeah, okay. And Ober Gatlinburg has Oktoberfest going on, so I think we have a little bit of a German influence in this area, so you'd probably would love the beer garden at Ober Gatlinburg. I love Ober Gatlinburg. <laughs> That's a fun place to go and oh, ride that mountain coaster. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and ride that aerial train all the way up to the mountain and yeah. then you can see the leaves it's just fantastic wow um, yeah. of course you've got Dollywood amusement park there it is a jewel <laughs> <laughs> it is a jewel, and so she's. Um, they've just kicked off Illuminites at Dollywood, and so it is just fabulous. Yes. Now I understand you're going to try to break some type of world record with your scarecrows. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and so that's a big deal. That's why we have Sally Sue here today. Um, she's one. <laughs> she's one. We have to break the. We were going to break. That we're going to try to break the world <laughs> record, the Guinness World Record for most number of scarecrows. The record is three thousand eight hundred and twelve. Okay. And we're thinking we'll get 4,000. Okay. All so, in one spot. That's yeah, pretty well, good. Yes, it's within downtown You're asking Gallenberg. everybody, all the vendors and everybody to set up their scarecrows and Absolutely. do it that way? Absolutely. Everybody in town. And then next Monday, we're going to actually count. Okay, very good. And it's good. like one to, to 4,000. How so fun. We, it's going to be quite a thing. All right, Marcy. Well, thank you so You're much welcome. for coming in today. Go, go down and see all those friendly folks in Gatlinburg. And we'll be right back.